Okay, today's run. Hello, I'm Peter and I love to run. <laughs> today's run is just a little run around the block. It's a 5k loop. This is my normal run after work and um, I'm doing it not with, a, with the camera. This is the new DJI Action 5 um, Pro. I always did a run yesterday in the daytime at night and at night. I was uh, disappointed because it was very bouncy. The stabilization wasn't as good as I expected it to be. So today I'm holding it with my hand on just a selfie stick. It's not a gimbal. It's just um, the same selfie stick that comes with the... Uh, What's it called? The adventure pack with it. So here I'll see if that makes a difference. Because I know a lot of people who make running videos actually just do this anyway. Even with um, GoPros and things. But um, I don't know. Uh, to me it feels more comfortable not having to hold something with my hand but I'll see what the actual output quality is it looks alright I'm looking at the screen right now at the back but I mean it's hard to tell got to get her get back and check it out on the computer I don't have it on horizon locking I've got it on rocksteady plus um, I've got it on 4K 16 um, by 9 aspect ratio and what other settings is it? Um, I didn't do anything with this color and I think that's it um, yeah but it's, I haven't tried horizon locking yet because I want the, oh yeah, yeah, the other setting of that is it's an ultra wide screen. I haven't done horizon locking because you can't use um, ultra wide screen because it uses that part of the um, uh, screen for the horizon locking. But I'll, I'll try that another time. Anyhow, got to go. Typical. Just walks out in front if I was a, a bike riding much faster I would have hit him he just came out without looking very normal now I'm running really easy today like easy as in slower because yesterday I did a pretty um, fast 20k run and uh, my legs feel a bit toast from that <laughs> it was good to do but um, yeah, I'm still feeling a little bit fried. And even though my speed right now, as you'll see on the data on the screen, it's still not slow. It's like, what is it, about four minutes 35 per kilometer? There's nothing wrong with that. But I am going down a hill. So um, it's always going to be a bit quicker. My average pace will probably be five minutes per kilometre because there are some hills and I am going to walk up them <laughs> because they're um, one of them is very steep with steps and the other one is moderate but you know I can't be bothered today I'm just going to take it easy you'll see I'm running into the sun right now I'm wondering how that goes with the um, with the quality of the screen, the video, all these questions. I've got a million questions. And um, prior to buying this camera, I was lending a friend's GoPro Hero 9. He was barely ever using it. And um, there were some things I didn't like about it, like the battery life. By the way, the battery life on this is awesome. Um, on this Action 5, I mean. 
and I didn't like that the Hero 9 had shocking low light. Everybody knows I think that the Hero is notoriously bad for that. But like I said, I did a run last night and it was better, but it was far from great. So I'm going to do another night run and play with the settings um, as well and see if I can't fix it up a bit. Ooh, they're ripping the road up here. There's a big construction happening, it's been going on for years now. It's part of Huawei, these buildings here. Actually, that's the nice thing about the selfie stick. I can keep it forward until I want to look somewhere else, I want to show you somewhere else. If I've got the camera on my head, like fixed on my head, um, sometimes I need to look quickly to the side for safety, like for cars and things. And it um, feels terrible when you're looking at it on a computer, on a treadmill, especially. And then other times I've, like yesterday, had the camera strapped to my chest. And that's nice and stable, I can move my head around. But if I want to look at something like over there, it's really, I've got to move my whole body to face that way, you know. So that's not ideal either. Hello, where is this? Maybe it's the, maybe it's the solution. Maybe I should just get used to the fact that um, having the camera on a stick, if it is stable, if the stability is good, is, um, you know, good. I'm going to wipe the lens of the camera now, just in case there's any smudges. I mightn't have needed to do that. But again, yesterday I forgot to do that. And I had a little fingerprinty smudge on it. And it just, I don't know, it didn't ruin the video, but it certainly didn't make it better either. This is a schools district. There are two big schools here. One of them is a Chinese state school. And the other one is a kind of a semi hybrid um, uh, state school slash international independent school just here. And that one is the one that I work at. I'm a homeroom teacher in there and I teach um, English language arts. Like not, not English as a second language. All of the students are, um, have already been there, done that. They all speak good English already. Here's one of the hills that I'm walking up. Um, but we teach them how to write letters or write narrative stories, all of that kind of stuff. Exactly the same kind of English classes you'd get in Western countries. Um, and then also teach them maths and science and um, other aspects of language too. Hey, how are you? One of my work colleagues, that's Ballinger. He's the um, head of security. So he's, um, it's holidays right now, but he's still working because, you know, obviously the guards are still working, the gates and things like that. He's a nice guy. Um, yeah, so my, so my job is, here yeah, I teach grade fours. It's very good. My favorite subject is um, teaching science, especially earth sciences, especially sort of climate environment related topics um, and energy. But when it comes to language, my favorite is uh, teaching narrative writing, creative writing. That was my uni degree major, creative writing and Chinese language. But um, I'm terrible at Chinese language still. So. <laughs> All right, enough about the school, enough about my work. I'll keep going. What's my average speed?
my average speed so far is 4 minutes 58 so yeah like I said about um, about 5 minutes per kilometer that's good for a, an easy run with a screen shut down that's ok I think oh no actually I want the screen I'm gonna turn it back on alright I'm feeling very lazy walking up here but it's alright those buildings there by the way oh that one there that's the teachers dorm teachers can live there on campus if they want a lot of the Chinese teachers do that and some international teachers some but not too many um, it's very cheap I mean it's free but I get a housing subsidy for my apartment off campus this whole area here though this is all part of a new Huawei neighborhood this is literally only for Huawei um, employees they've got a kindergarten our school you could kind of say is a Huawei school a lot of the kids that work for these this is more of an executive level Huawei city there's other places where Huawei factory workers live but it's not in one of them and this is a officially a Huawei recreational path down past the Huawei Creek and across, we'll be going past the Huawei Lake <laughs> and of course the Huawei um, huge Huawei research and development campus I ran past that yesterday if you want to see that check out yesterday's run it's a massive thing how far are we now a bit over 2k two and a half I'm actually going there that girl like covering her face very shy um, I'm gonna do a 10k run today but I'll only film the first lap I'll do two laps to five kilometers because uh, I'm just gonna do multiple laps around here and there's no point you know showing you two laps there's the highway lake in fact it's a reservoir it's a dam it's pretty nice though you're absolutely not allowed to go anywhere near it though of course being a water reservoir the water's probably good enough quality to drink but um, the recommendation is still don't do that certainly good enough to wash in and even brush your teeth and things like that but to actually consume it is still a little bit taboo so we still get um, water bottles in 15 litre jugs that are swapped over what else can I say about the camera I said more of it yesterday although I did it as text yesterday so I just want to say there's a lot about this camera that I love battery is obviously one of them I like that it's got internal memory but it's not that to me is not a game changer because I'm going to use a card anyway I like to use 512 gig cards because they're convenient I don't need too many of them and hey I live in China <laughs> they're dirt cheap they're so cheap <sighs> but I generally like the low light filming ability of it it still does jump around too much but like I said if I if I go away from 4k maybe that's just pushing it a bit too much for running 4k low light might be okay for sort of walking and not moving around very much but it's probably asking a bit too much of it to be able to process all of that process all of that so I'm going to try a 1080p version and um, 
do it with a with a stick like this <sighs> you heard the three kilometer that was my smart watch actually it's not a, not really a smart watch it's more of a, more of a um, sports watch it's a Kuros Apex 2 and the um, the information that you see on the screen that's um, coming from the watch so the process that I use is I know you can do it different ways but I have put all of my things on Strava anyway and then from Strava I just export a file a um, FIT file, FIT file and, that Im and then import that into an old Garmin app specifically made for this called Verb it's free I don't think Garmin Garmin doesn't support it anymore but it's legal to use and free so I use that and throw all of the data around the screen it's very good for that and then export that as a kind of a raw file put it back into a video editing app I use CapCut like a lot of people the free version I don't subscribe to the pro and then put any text make the thumbnail do all the other little things with CapCut I used to use um, Photoshop for the thumbnail but I don't know CapCut I know thumbnails are very important and maybe I could spend an extra half a day making them a little bit better but honestly um, it's okay I'm still learning so many things about video making that if I can get to be about you know um, 80% good at everything then I'll be much better than I am right now so I'm just trying to be a bit of a all-rounder because I'm terrible at some things and they're the things that I'm working on and I think those things are just um, connecting a story you know I'm gonna walk here again this is the steep one just making a compelling reason for the video that is value that has value for people and me I mean I I use these too like I say on all my videos half of the reason I'm making this is for myself because most of the year Shenzhen is too hot to run outside so I use my treadmill and it's just good to have running videos of scenery to look at so I'm making my own you know so I'm actually my biggest market <laughs> I'm making videos that I want but if I can also then do them in a way that is um, uh, gives some value and enjoyment you know for other people as well then that's awesome can you see my thumb awesome we're nearly out of the Huawei district some people having picnics these are typical Chinese families by the way you know you hear all of the media about you know um, Chinese eating things cooked with garter oil and all that sort of stuff it's really not a thing oh look no drones allowed here only if you go to authorized license by Huawei right I'm gonna run again now bye bye lake I'm gonna go around here go past the guard house the guards aren't the friendliest guys in the world here to be honest but they've got a job and their job is to only allow authorized people in wouldn't hurt to smile though guys <laughs> all right so 
you'll see the little map up in the top right hand corner of the screen I've got an arrow to it there that shows where I am and the start and finish point and I'm nearly back there as you can see You know, this road was also built by Huawei as an access road. It's huge, because it's basically a driveway, right? But what happened was, um, people started parking, like these cars here, here are, um, when it was during construction. And then something really weird happened. Some guys started moving in and they were selling long-term car parks for whoever needed to park their car. I'm sure it was some kind of racket because there was like this almost gang style of these dudes telling people where and when they could park and not. At first I thought it was some kind of a, you know, drug thing or something, but then I realized it was a, the thing was just car parks and it got, more and more choked so the cars could barely even drive through there and then uh, they started having people that were basically living in their cars mostly truck drivers that were parking their trucks in between jobs and they would just throw trash rubbish out their windows and the place was looking like a rubbish ship these cars are still here from it now and a few people, like myself, started to complain about it. It took a long time, but I think finally, like it was months later, I think finally the cops must have thought, yeah, nah, better stop that. And all of a sudden, it was gone. <laughs> so, those um, car park mafia guys were... Um, put out of business I don't know whether they were prosecuted or just told to go away I would think they were just told to go away maybe I'm naive but I've seen um, the police operate here and they're generally very de-escalating which is I know it's opposite to what you're told about the big evil country of China, but I've been here 10 years now and I've seen cops in situations where they could easily do a hell of a lot more, but they just switched to a de-escalation. Anyway, that's me. I'll stop. All right, well, thank you. I'm going to keep running, but I'm going to turn this off. You made the whole lap. My house is up there. Like literally that one <laughs> and um, you've seen it I've got a video of it if you want to see it inside it you can check that out thanks for watching you did a great job running along hope you found some value in it if you liked it please press like if you found value in it please subscribe I'm gonna be doing a lot more of these um, I want to get to Hong Kong soon to uh, for a, a lot of people have been there I'm wondering what it's like now now that it's back in China so I think that'll be interesting but just generally playing around with this thing the camera and getting the right setting you know as well all right see you later and thanks for watching okay bye